97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello, I am Pearl Akanya Ofori and this is City News Daily on City TV. I'll bring you the day's top stories. Let's get started. In our first story, pro-opposition pressure group Let My Vote Count Alliance wants the 18-member election steering committee dissolved. The pressure group says revelations that some members of the committee are clearly linked to the governor National Democratic Congress are clear indications that the committee will be biased in its work. The Electoral Commission set up the 18-member committee to oversee the smooth running of the forthcoming parliamentary and presidential elections. But the National Coordinator of Let My Vote Count Alliance, David Asante, has told City News Daily a new committee must be formed. Let's stay with the story because the National Service Scheme says it will withdraw Dr. Carl McAhin as its representative on the committee. Dr. Carl McAhin, who is a known member of the Governor National Democratic Congress, was nominated to be a part of the 18-member election steering committee, which was inaugurated some days ago. The Acton National Service Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Pessa White, has told City News Daily, Dr. Ahin was not nominated because of his allegiance to the governing NDC. To our next story, if viewers would recall, the NPP held its parliamentary primary in the Clotic Curley constituency in August last year. In that election, Ni Noi Norte emerged winner, but it was disputed by one of the defeated aspirants, Philip Addison, who cited electoral flaws in the polls. Following this, the New Patriotic Party has set the 27th of this month to rerun the parliamentary primary in the Clotic Corley constituency. There were media reports that Ninoy Norte would not participate in the polls, but he says that he would take part in the election. Now, a statement was released on his behalf by his lawyers, and I'm going to read excerpts of it for you. We act as solicitors for Mr. Ninoy Norte, the parliamentary candidate elect for Clotical constituency. It would be recalled that our clans won the disputed parliamentary primary in Clotical by pulling 393 of the valid votes cast. Though the said election was sanctioned by senior officers of the party, the other contestants have disputed the outcome of the said election. We wish to humbly inform all delegates in the constituency and the team and supporters of the opposition New Patriotic Party that in the interest of peace, party unity and cohesion, our clients will contest the rerun of the parliamentary primary on the 27th of this month. Now the Parliamentary Select Committee on Water Resources, Works and Housing has summoned the Ghana Water Company Limited to appear before it tomorrow over the water crisis in the Nsawam Edwardry municipality. This follows DMP's visit to the area yesterday to assess the situation. The committee members were appalled by the Ghana Water Company's efforts to resolve the matter, especially at the Nsawam treatment plant, resulting in heated exchanges. The chairman of the Water Resources Works and Housing Committee and MP for Shai Osudoku, David Tete Isumin, has told City News Daily that tomorrow's meeting would inform them on appropriate steps to take. Moving on to other issues, importers and exporters in Ghana say they will embark on a demonstration on the 25th of this month to protest the huge taxes being collected at the Tema port. The importers and exporters say taxes like the special levy tax and the NHIS tax are making their work difficult. The Executive Secretary of the Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana, Samson Asaki, has told City News Daily they will mobilize their members for this intended action after they have officially notified the police. To politics, the new patriotic party flag bearer, Nana Ekufuade, has assured fisher folks along the coastal areas of better times and improved conditions of service if he's voted into power. Addressing some of them in Axim as part of his tour of the western region, Nanadu said Ghana's fishing population, which accounts for 10% of the country's total population, must be given the needed attention it deserves. Still on politics, the founder and leader of the All People's Congress, APC, Hassan Ayariga, says 
his party is the only option to better the lot of Ghanaians apart from the governing NDC and the opposition and PP. The Electoral Commission recently granted the party a provisional certificate that is now awaiting approval for full operations. Speaking to the media in Accra, Mr. Hassan Ayariga urged all Ghanaians to join the party in his bid to win the November polls. Hassan Ayariga was the flag bearer of the Convention People's Party in the 2012 general elections, but recently left the party to form his own party, that's the All People's Congress, APC. In our final story, the Empire So Circuit Court has remanded nine out of the 11 people arrested at Apesika in the Kwewe East District for possessing over 200 bags of dried leaves believed to be Indian hemp. The 11 were arrested last Friday when the Nkoko Divisional Police carried out a dawn swoop upon a tip-off. Two of the suspects, a physically challenged pregnant woman and a nursing mother, have been granted bail. The remanded suspect will appear before the court on the 2nd of March. And that's how we end City News Daily on City TV for today. I am Pio Lacanio Furi. Thanks for watching. <laughs>